Hello and welcome to the Sketchlist 3D Video Guide. Sketchlist helps you brainstorm, plan, and execute your creative projects. This video explores the use of boards in Sketchlist 3D, a woodworking design program. Although the term board is typically associated with wood, it can actually be made from various materials such as stone, glass, metal, or cloth. You can even import a photograph of an object like a fireplace, window, or door and use it as a board. To work on a board, you need to be in the assembly level and at the board level detail. Simply click on the add board icon to insert a new board. Once the new board form opens, provide a unique name for the board and select the container where it will be placed. If you had already selected the container and gone to the container level, this information will be filled in automatically. The next step is to choose the material size. For example, we're using maple sheet goods, measuring 48 by 96 by 3 quarters of an inch. The quantity is optional. Another important piece of information to add is the dimensions of the board. For instance, let's say the width is 12, the height is 12, and the thickness is 3 quarters of an inch. Notice that I've selected the 3 quarter dimension as the thickness, which is necessary to specify. Additionally, it is important to indicate the grain direction, as it is used for the cut list and optimizer features. Make sure you have selected the correct thickness and grain direction. If you know the location of the board and wish to enter it, you can do so in the Locate Board section. Click Add Board, and you will see the board appear in your design. There are two important rules to remember when working with boards. First, the board must fit within the selected material. In the example shown, I am creating a very large board. And upon adding it, I receive a message indicating that the board does not fit the material. To fix this, you can adjust the size of the board to fit or select slash create a material that can accommodate the board. Now let's review the process by adding two more boards. In this case, I'm inserting a side or divider board. Select the material, enter the width, thickness, height, and depth to define it as a divider or sideboard. Click Add Board. When a board is inserted into an assembly, its bottom left and front values are set to zero. To position this board, I will use the blue dot method. I will copy the blue dot value from the first board, paste it to locate this board, and there you have it. Let's add a third type of board. Name the material, in this case, it's a bottom shelf. Specify its height, thickness, and depth, which in this example is 12. The board will come in with a point of origin at 0, 0, 0. Again, using the blue dot method, right-click the blue dot, copy its value, right-click at the corresponding position, and paste it to place your new board. Win more bids, spot the mistakes early, and pull advanced reports with Sketchlist, a complete 3D design software for all your wood project needs.